Welcome back to our MSIX series. In this video, we'll be exploring the Microsoft tools available for MSIX packaging, focusing on the Microsoft MSIX packaging tool and PSF tooling. Now, these tools are essential for IT professionals looking to repackage and deploy applications efficiently. So Microsoft offers a first party tool called Microsoft MSIX Packaging Tool, or MMPT. This is designed to help IT professionals repackage existing applications into MSI packages. This tool captures the installation process, making it easier to convert traditional applications into modern MSIX format. The Microsoft Packaging Tool is available for free from the Microsoft Store, and it's updated approximately four times a year. For those eager to try the latest features, there's also an insiders program offering preview builds between official updates. Now, to get the best results, we use the Microsoft tool on a clean virtual machine. This supports three main scenarios, creating a new package. This wizard will walk you through capturing an application installation, creating a modification package, which requires the primary package and helps you create add-ons or updates, and package editor, which allows for simple edits to file and registry entries and the Apex manifest file. The Microsoft MSX packaging tool is continuously adding new capabilities. Currently, it requires full repackaging as there is no support uh, for application upgrade scenarios involving an installation recapture mode. The latest release of MSIX packaging tool now supports the inclusion of package support framework directly through its interface. This enhancement simplifies the process of adding package support framework during the creation and repackaging of applications, making it more efficient for IT professionals. So for example, I just want to go through a normal capture process for a simple application. As mentioned, with the application package option, you have a wizard that walks you through capturing your application. So if we click this, we can create a package on this computer, on a remote machine or a local virtual machine. For the sake of this video, I'll, I'm going to do it on this computer, but again, the recommendation is to do it on a clean virtual machine. If we click next, the MSIX packaging tool will do some preparation for the device, machine or computer. Uh, for example, it checks if the MSIX packaging tool driver is installed, it disables your Windows update, it checks if there are any pending boot on your system and so forth and so we click next then we need to choose our installer in this case i'm going to select this one if you have an application which installs silently you can check this box here you can also specify any installer arguments now when it comes to signing remember that if you want to install msix packages you really need to have them signed with a digital certificate now you have multiple options with this you can sign your package with device guard with azure trusted signing with a simple pfx certificate you can also specify a surf file but this will not sign your package or you can leave the option to not sign the package just to see how it goes in this case i want to so show you how it is with a pfx certificate next we click on browse we have a no pass you can also put your password here if you have your password to your pfx and that's it click next i know that this is vlc media player I think the version is 3.0.12, if I remember correctly. If you want to have MSIX Core, uh, which is intended for Windows 7, you can add support here. You click next. You can also add accelerators. We can talk about accelerators in a later video. For now, I'll, I will click next and the installation will start. I will just go through the process very quickly with next, next, next. Okay, I don't want to run VLC Media Player and I don't want to capture any additional settings. So I'll uncheck this and click finish. The packaging tool already determined that the installer has finished running. We can click next. And we can see that it, it has seen our shortcut here, vlc.exe. Good. Yes, I'm done. Please move on. No services, of course. Now we can save this. On the desktop right now or we can go directly into the package editor here you can also open your manifest file which will just open up a simple notepad where you can manually edit the manifest file here again keep in mind this is just a simple xml file we talked about this in the previous video 
we can click close i don't want to to do this right now next let's go to package analyzer what does it do so if we click analyze package this will install and launch the application. What it does is it tries to automatically identify if there are any problems with your current package. For example, if a package needs any certain redirection or stuff like that. So let's wait for this to install the MSIX package and launch it. Okay, so VLC Media Player has been opened. Now, technically, you can go to tools. You can you, you really need to test your package just to make sure that everything works fine. In this case, I'm just going to close it. And now I'm going to stop the analysis. And it has seen some remediation. So, for example, app is not able to find the following paths. Okay, so we can click apply. That's totally fine. We can leave it like this. Now we can go to the package report to see if we have any services or drivers. We can edit the capabilities uh, of this application. We can also check the virtual registry, what registry will be present in this uh, MSIX package, right? Uh, you can also import or export certain registry here. Next, you can see what package files you have. And lastly, you can add certain PSF fixups. Now, I'm not going to go very much in detail. This is just an intro to the whole MSIX thing. So let's say that my application, which is here, by the way, needs some fix up. So you can pass certain command line arguments. For example, if you want your shortcut to be opened in a certain way, you can change the working di directory or empty the working directory. You can execute uh, certain things in the package context you can put a powershell script that will run during the start or end so when you start or your or you finish your application you can put it here also you can run once right show window wait for script to finish run once so forth and so on you can do file redirection fix-ups for example let's say that in this application i have a certain process and I want to redirect to known folders. For example, this application, let's say it wants to read somewhere in, I don't know, C program files, blah, blah, blah. Also, you can do some registry legacy fix-ups here, right? Uh, fake delete or modify key access or redirect to a certain dependency, right? You have your DLL fix-ups. Okay, because here you need to put your DLL path and file path. And if your application needs to have any environment variables fix ups, you can put it here. So these are the main fix ups that MSIX packaging tool offers. You can also go on the PSF documentation and find out more. Next, you can click create and your MSIX package will be done. Now, despite these new features some scenarios might still require manual adjustments or additional tools uh, which is where the psf tooling can further enhance your packaging process now psf tooling is developed by team mangan and it's a third-party tool designed to complement the microsoft msix packaging tool by simplifying the inclusion and configuration of the package support framework and this is also available for free from the microsoft store so psf tooling is used during the capture mode of the msix packaging tool so when we do a create new package wizard after the target application has been installed and configured you can open up the psf tooling and this will make recommendation for psf fixups as necessary components and configures the psf json file it also modifies install shortcuts and file associations to ensure compatibility with msix features i'm just going to open it here it's also stated that it is recommended that you run the pre-scan from the menu once prior to creating your package VM snapshot. Okay, and this will help with the detection of newly created registry items and so forth and so on. And as you can see here, you can use your PSF launcher, you can run scripts, you can inject fix up traces, file redirections, legacy registry fix-ups, environment variables. You can also wait for debugger, and then you can also determine the new app components for the fix-ups. Good, and apply proposed changes because the documentation in this example, it's pointing to a new URL. This is not supported in MSIX, but with PSF, you can do it via a launcher to launch the documentation, release notes. You also have arguments for your VLC.exe, and this is 
not supported by default. So in MSIX, a shortcut cannot contain arguments. The only way you can implement arguments is via the package support framework. You can either add it here in your PSF fixups with command line arguments, or you can use PSF tooling, which automatically identified that for this one, you need to have some arguments. Okay, you can click close and potential environment variables. Let's see, local temp, no, this is not usable, not usable, not usable. Okay, so this one we can remove for the list, from the list because it's not needed, close. And you can apply, apply the proposed change list and then you go through the normal process, next, next, next. And once you are here, you will already have the package support framework implemented into your package. By using the PSF tooling, alongside the MSIX packaging tool, you can streamline the packaging process, making it easier to create robust MSIX packages that are ready for deployment. So the MSIX packaging tool and PSF tooling are essential tools for the IT professionals working with MSIX packaging. Together, they simplify the process on converting and configuring applications, ensuring a smooth transition to the modern MSIX format. Thanks for watching us. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the MSIX packaging. Join us in the next video as we continue exploring tools and techniques for efficient application deployment. See you next time.